Looking forward to going back home and uh, see what's happening there and how we can organize ourselves to get out of the trouble that we are in. Thank you very much. Let's get some analysis now from Srinagar in India administered Kashmir and speak with Ali Khan Mahumbadat. He is the head of the Department of Political Science at Ashoka University. Really good to have you with us, sir. Firstly, we've seen there Mohammed Yunus, the Nobel laureate leaving Paris bound for Bangladesh, has been announced as the interim leader of Bangladesh as it transitions to elections. Exactly what role do you see for Mohammed Yunus during this interim period? Uh, thank you. So Mohammed Yunus uh, was initially a bit hesitant to accept this role, but the students um, uh, really insisted on him taking up the role. I think what he is going to foresee for himself is uh, being a kind of binding glue to the various parties at the table. Uh, of course, Bangladesh at the moment is fractured. Um, the other main opposition party, uh, led by Khalid Azia, who's been in jail, the BNP, um, uh, hasn't been at the forefront of these protests. It's the students. So I think uh, Yunus will play the role of peacemaker and uh, also um, will strive to make sure that no one uh, institution or political party or group hijacks uh, uh, the, the upcoming days and this important moment in Bangladesh's history. Now, we know Mohammed Yunus was recognized internationally when he won the Nobel Peace Prize for his works in terms of microfinancing, but that put him in the crosshairs with the now former Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, who had really sought to demonize him and jail him. In terms of uniting the country, do you believe Mohammed Yunus will be able to do that, given uh, some of the deep divisions that still exist in Bangladeshi society? Well, I mean, um, so Yunus is not no stranger to politics. In fact, in the in 1997, uh, he held a very important meeting in America where Sheikh Hasina was the co-chair. Um, in 2006, when there was a military-backed uh, caretaker government that lasted for two years, and Sheikh Hasina and Khaled Azia, both the main leaders, were in jail, he actually launched a political party called uh, Citizen Power. Um, uh, but once Hasina was... Uh, uh, out of jail again, um, he, she saw him as a threat, so he dropped, uh, you know, any kind of political um, ambitions. Uh, he's been relatively quiet until January this year. He also faced the wrath of the state uh, um, and charges of corruption from Sheikh uh, Hasina, uh, who had really sort of hollowed out the judiciary and the and the institutions of Bangladesh. Uh, and he stuck to mostly international speaking engagements. He was quite quiet about what was happening in Bangladesh, but he spoke up uh, January this year when he faced um, trial in a labor court. I think, uh, you know, it remains to be seen um, uh, how much he will be able to shape the coming days. There's a very animated discussion happening in Bangladesh. The constitution sort of wants elections, uh, uh, provides for uh, elections within 90 days. Um, of parliament being dissolved and a caretaker government being formed within 120 days um, of, of parliament being dissolved. But there is a lo strong lobby that says Bangladesh actually needs very strong political reforms because if any one party comes to power, then they could just hijack the institutions again. So it's a very tricky moment in, um, in the political history of Bangladesh uh, at the moment. And the army, for the time being at least, seems... Uh, to, to be very keen to indicate that they are not going to play the role that they did in 2007 um, uh, and back a caretaker government. Uh, they're already um, not popular with students and uh, protesters because of the killings. Uh, there's a widespread protesting, rioting, killings on both sides. So uh, the first thing is going to be to uh, sort of uh, get law and order back on the streets and then begin a very difficult conversation about the future of Bangladesh. Okay, Ali Khan, Mahmoud Abad, we will have to leave it there, but it was really good to get your analysis on this issue. Thanks again for joining us.